So today on my channel we are joined by a very special, super unwanted guest. Generally, if I've got a cold sore going on, I don't really like to put makeup on over it, but I know sometimes we've got like an event or an occasion coming up where we kind of just need to be able to cover it. So that's what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today. Now, I've had a few cold sores in my past, lucky me, and I've had this one since Friday. Today is now Wednesday and it's still there. So generally when I feel a cold sore coming on, I feel like the little tingle, the little lumps coming, I go straight to the chemist. They've got some tablet, you take it and it makes the cold sore not get like as bad as it would have had you have not taken the tablet. If you take it early enough, it can actually completely get rid of the cold sore, which is amazing. However, I noticed mine coming on Friday night and it was too late for me to go to the chemist. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna have to have a cold sore. And here it is on my face beautiful and red and not wanted. I get cold sores probably like once or twice a year, super frustrating, but generally I'll just kind of not wear makeup, I'll sit at home and let it heal. On occasions like today, I wanna to look a little bit nice and I'm gonna get out of the house and I don't want it to be super obvious that I've got a cold sore on my lip. So if you didn't make it to the chemist in time, you can pick up these little Compede invisible patches and honestly, these are so amazing. I don't want to cover it up and kind of put a lot of product over the top. I would prefer to cover it and then put product over that so it's still underneath, it's clean and it's got a chance to heal on its own. This is my last one. So hopefully, when I'm putting it on this video, it goes on okay. So they just come in individual little packets like these. So I'm just gonna open this one up. So here it is. We're gonna put it on my lip. I'm just gonna pull one side apart. And you can see that this side here is like the sticky side. So I'm just gonna place the little sticky side over the cold sore. So what I'm gonna do is just put my finger over here and then I'll flip the middle part up. And then push that down. All right, so this is what the patch looks like on my lip. Generally, I'll put these on for the majority of the time while I've got the cold sore if I didn't get that tablet in time. I find that it does make them a little bit less painful. It kind of stops them ripping open when you're eating or when you're in the middle of talking because you don't want it to stretch and keep opening then it's going to take longer to heal. So now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of foundation. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 3W1 Tawny. All right, so I'm just going to go in now and blend out that foundation. Honestly, this is my favorite foundation at the moment. It's so nice. So I'm just using little padding motions. And I just wanna gently pat over the top of like the little sticker. I'm just gonna do the rest of my face as normal. So I'm just gonna go in with a bit of concealer under my eyes and down the center of my face. Now, if you guys wanna see how I do my makeup, I'll attach one of my recent tutorials down below where I use pretty much the same products. I'm just gonna blend out this concealer. So I just jumped off camera really quickly and finished applying the rest of my makeup. Obviously I could do the rest of it as normal because I didn't really touch my lip area. So when it comes time to covering my lips, I don't like to go in with a liquid lipstick because I find that it's gonna draw attention to the area. My lips are already dry from having a cold sore. I don't wanna make it more dry and make the cold sore a little bit more obvious. So what I'm gonna do is just go in with a lip liner and I'm literally gonna fill all of my lips in with the lip liner. So this one's from Carly Cosmetics. It's my favorite shade, Malibu. I actually only like to wear the lip liner. I don't like to wear the lipstick of this anyway. Now, I don't want to apply any glosses or anything either because I find that it's going to make the little sticker less sticky if any of it can get underneath there. I just find that the pencil is the easiest way to go. And then once I've filled my lips in, I can just sharpen the pencil and then it's safe to go again. When I'm filling in the cold sore, like the patch, I wanna be doing it out ways to make sure that I'm not gonna be like trying to lift up the sticker. All right, so the cold sore is now covered up. I'm totally aware you can still see the patch a little bit, but what I love most about this is that we're not putting products on top of the cold sore itself. 
so it's able to still heal underneath and the cold sore patches really do help it heal faster. So cold sores are very contagious so that's why I opt for using a lip liner that is a pencil one that way I can just sharpen it, discard the waste and it's okay to use again for next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If it was helpful please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.